Hello everyone, my name is Elliot Baines, I'm the director and founder of Spiral Stage Lightning and today I'm going to be showing you on how to create pixel map effects in Avalite's Titan. So a few years back we did film a tutorial but time's flown by and so we thought we'd make a more updated version because there are more features uh, to version 14 which is the latest version we're on. Before we jump into the software, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, turn notifications on and like if you haven't already. We have got some cool content coming up so don't miss out. Let's jump into the software. So as you can see this is just a basic workspace window I've created uh, and it's running a pixel map effect in the corner as you can see on capture. First of all let's talk about editing the group layouts because that is the most important step. So if we click shapes and effects, pixel mapper, edit group layout and select the Astera tubes, as you can see they are laid out in an orderly fashion. So this needs to be done before creating any effects or any positions because th this helps the software know where the lights are so it makes programming way easier. And also on pixel lights, as you can see, there is a red and a green dot at either end. This basically lets you know on which way it's rotated. And if we select a tube, locate it and highlight, you can see there is a red and a green light at either end. Again, this is just help with rotations because if it's not rotated correctly, it's not going to look good. If it's not positioned correctly, it's not going to look good. So how to move it about? It's so easy so all you need to do is select a tube or a light and literally move it about with your mouse or your finger or using the encoder wheels and to angle it you just use the encoder wheels an easy process but a really important step so if you're new don't forget that because the effects can look really weird so let's talk about the pixel map preview window so if we just turn on a nice effect select open workspace window and pixel map preview which is in the corner here. This basically tells you on what the pixel mapper is doing. So these are the spots and as you can tell it is basically the same layout in the layout editor. And if we select down here these are the Astera tubes and again it's just showing you on what it's doing. So now let's jump into the actual pixel mapper. So let's create an effect with the Astera tube. So if we click shapes and effects Pixel Mapper, first of all we've got to select our group of lights, create effect, add, and add uh, a shape, so these are your elements, so you've got your square, circle, triangle, etc, but you've also got the AI logo, now to the people who are new to Wave Lights and don't know what this means, AI is basically media servers that Ava Lights create and it's also video software, and they also brought out a feature called Synergy, so this allows lights and video to be mapped together to create really cool effects and it just basically merges with each other. The file icon is basically images you can upload and the drawing tool is basically a drawing tool. You can, you can draw stuff, you can draw a shape if you want and yeah. So what we're going to do is click the spiral and we're gonna click the sunlight icon. As you can see, you can see the spiral in the capture window. We can rotate it, we can change the size, and we can also add different points and thickness. You can do all sorts of stuff, so make sure to play around with it. So now what we're gonna do is make it rotate. So make sure the shape is selected, click the add button once again, and here is a bunch of effects. We're just gonna create a nice circle effect. And as you can see, it's doing a really basic spin. You can change the speed, and you can also add other effects on top of that. So if you click the add button again, you can add a zoom in as well. You can do all sorts of stuff. To change the color of the shape, all you need to do is click the layer. Let's change it red. And now it's red, but you can also add a little background to it. So let's say you want the back to be green and you want the spiral to be red. So if we click the pixel map effects tab, select the color tab and change that to green, turn it up. And now you can see there is now a nice green backlight to it. So it just makes it stand out more. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, spiralstagedown.com and all the social media links are in the description down below. Leave a comment, 
like, subscribe, and turn notifications on because we've got some amazing stuff coming up, and I will see you in the next one.